Hi guys, welcome to another audio video. In that reading, Psalms 138 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me, and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. All right, guys. So, in the psalm, the psalmist is actually giving thanks to God, thanking Him for all, all that He has done unto Him. The psalmist also recounts all that the Lord has done for him, the fact that the Lord has been his strength, the fact that the Lord does not show favor to those that are high, but he sees those that are actually lowly, those that are poor, those that are oppressed, those that are broken. He sees them and he strengthens them and he gives them whatever they need to move on, to urge them on in any respect. And uh, so we see here where he also says that his mercy endureth forever. Saying again just how merciful the Lord is unto us. Even though we do not deserve him. Even though we do not deserve his mercy. But he still gives it to us. And uh, he's asking the Lord to perfect whatever it is that he needs to carry out. Help him to actually do it to the best of his ability because he praises him with his whole heart and he wants to do everything wholeheartedly for the Lord. Okay? He wants everything that he does for the Lord to be great. He wants it to please the Lord. He wants for the Lord to just be magnified and be exalted through everything that he does and guys i think that is something that we should all want to do in our daily lives to actually exalt the name of the lord and to slay self continually each and every day and trust me guys it's a struggle it's a struggle because there is a battle between the flesh and against the spirit and against the soul and so we need to ensure that at the end of the day if we want to please god we need to ensure that we slay the flesh and actually cling to the spirit the desires of the spirit which the holy spirit is leading us towards right so guys, I'm going to leave that right there. The Lord be with you. The Lord guide you. The Lord keep you. The Lord strengthen you. Whatever it is that you need right now, may he revive your spirit at this time. Hallelujah. Alright guys, so remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.